So welcome, everyone, um, and um, good morning. So it's really cool to be a data guy or a data gal these days. And thanks to big data, we also have very nice titles. Data engineer, data scientist, even chief data officer. And big data has really captured our imagination. And in fact, that's the reason we all are here today. It's exciting. It's a, brought about a renaissance in the data processing industry at large. Things that were not possible all of a sudden seem possible with data. At SAP, we have seen data, big data in the context of core processing of enterprises within the workflows generated by people and by surroundings. But the challenge really is for us as vendors, technologies, and technologists, how to make it pervasive and interesting for mainstream adoption. So that's where we come in. So at SAP, we have looked at core aspects of big data in the lens of applications. We have brought innovations around applications in middleware and recently with mobility and cloud. Now we are looking and paying attention to the data layer of all of these core data within uh, enterprises. What we see is that things look seemingly nice at the surface, but there are leaky data pipes underneath at the infrastructure layer. And that's because we have redundant systems. We have OLTP systems separate, and data warehousing and OLAP systems separate. We have redundant data, redundant schema, redundant aggregates and indexes, all of that that we have to maintain. And we couldn't do any better in the past. But all of that is changing with SAP HANA. What exactly is SAP HANA? It is an open, scalable, real-time data platform. And I emphasize, a data platform, not just a database. So it has three components. Uh, CPU-optimized, memory-optimized DBMS engine, which can scale out massively parallel. An application server that shares the infrastructure with the DBS en DBMS engine, the same DNA as uh, the DBMS engine and a native tool that covers the whole gamut of data management issues from modeling to development to systems management with the same interface. But the interesting thing is not just the technology itself, but the impact it has uh, from that technology. So first, it brings about, with these three components, the consolidation of transaction processing, OLTP, OLAP, single infrastructure to be able to get all of these horizontal mess together. And then vertically, too, removes the layers in the middleware uh, and have all of the logic running close to data. Simplicity, horizontally and vertically. And what's the impact of that once you have achieved simplicity? It opens up new opportunities, new experiences that we can make a difference. Let's take a look at a few examples. With HANA in T-Mobile, they were able to get to 21 million more uh, subscribers with smartphone upsells and services around smartphones and within weeks, which they could not get to before because they're able to cycle through many more campaigns in real time that they were not able to do before. With Provimi, a food supplier company in Europe, they were able to save 500K within the first week of deploying SAP HANA uh, around working cap uh, capital costs as well as inventory costs. Red Bull, they were able to go live with a data warehousing project within 10 days of installing HANA. And of course, you have genomics analysis with MKI in Japan. They're able to do genomics analysis in hours that took days or even did not complete with traditional technologies that they, were, they had access to. So these are making real difference. And these are not just isolated cases. In fact, we at SAP work across many industries. And when HANA is let loose on the problems that, big data problems within the traditional context within these enterprises, the effect is staggering. In fact, all across these industries, we are seeing 12,000 times improvement in overall performance and the value that it brings uh, in that context. We have several in the 100,000 club, as we like to call it. So its value is unmistakable. But that's about the core aspects of big data within the heart and soul of enterprises. Now let's take a look at Hadoop itself. If you think of Hadoop, it's also brought about transformational effect on other aspects of enterprise data, the data that's at the edges of enterprises. Think about Hadoop scalability. It's, about, it's brought about scalability in a cost-effective way that was simply not possible, or people didn't deem that it was even possible with traditional technologies, so, which is great. Think about fault tolerance. 
Hadoop addresses fault tolerance in a proactive way rather than a reactive way. Again, a new paradigm. Hadoop brings logic close to data and made it real with MapReduce API. People talked about it, but Hadoop made it real. And innovations are coming from the Hadoop world every day from the open source community and the vendors that support it. So this is really great. The mainstream enterprises love it, but they do not want to adopt it without, they won't adopt it without any disruption. And that's where we come in. And the difference that we can make, uh, making Hadoop mainstream. So partnerships work a lot here. And that's where we have a close partnership with Intel. And this partnership runs deep and long. In fact, SAP HANA itself was built in close collaboration with Intel, optimized for the chipsets and optimized for CPU caches. So it's natural that we extend that relationship to Hadoop and big data as well. So as Girish mentioned, Intel is bringing about several innovations to Hadoop itself to make it enterprise ready. So what we are going to do together is actually we are bringing the solution that melts the Hadoop world and the analytical data world and brings these two parallel universes and gives a realistic view of the total enterprise data that uh, mainstream enterprises have. So it brings about qualitative difference. So architecturally, we are actually melding the technologies from uh, SAP HANA and Intel Hadoop uh, and bringing them together in a very seamless fashion. Analysis across all of that enterprise data, ubiquitous access, and in real time. We are doing it with SAP HANA and Hadoop from Intel. So my message is very simple. We at SAP take big data processing very seriously at the mainstream enterprise level. And what we are doing here is bringing the maturity, the maturity of melding together Hadoop data with traditional core operational data and making that palatable to enterprises the way we have brought about for traditional data itself. And we are doing it with SAP HANA and uh, Hadoop distributions from partners like Intel. So now big data is really getting exciting. We are taking it mainstream. So thank you for your time. I uh, appreciate uh, all of the interesting ideas that have been brought to this conference. And you can check out more uh, about our solution uh, at our booth uh, 501 and reach us through social media if you have further questions. And I'll be around today and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much.